The following is a paid advertisement. The views expressed are the sole responsibility of the advertiser. I'm attorney Justin Clark. Coming up just ahead on You Have Real Estate, I do so many interviews throughout the year. Dallas and Vivian, it is their time. Can Dallas and Vivian interview people? They're going to talk to Alicia Lopez and Lee Austin as You Have Real Estate continues. I'm attorney Justin Clark. If you're in debt and find yourself living paycheck to paycheck, call me now or visit youhavepower.com today. Welcome to You Have Real Estate with me, attorney Justin Clark. A little sneak peek right now of our new set that we're going to debut next week here. We're very excited about it. I'm happy to spend 2024 with you. As I look back on the last five or six years of doing the show, I think about all the, the advice we've given, all the questions that you've given us, and I've just enjoyed doing the show. I've enjoyed spending this time with you. I hope we've helped you make great decisions in your real estate purchasing, in your real estate selling, your real estate investing, because that's, at the end of the day, why we do this show. But what you don't see oftentimes is what really goes on behind the scenes. Our team here, our production team, who we've been together from day one, are the best in the business, not just in Central Florida. I'm talking about throughout this nation, our production team, the absolute best, but also Dallas and Vivian have been here from day one. They do so much for the show, provide so much content for you and so much advice for you. I thought today would be a perfect time to let them do some interview. We're going to kick it back over to the old set here, Dallas and Vivian. They're going to talk to our great friend, Alicia Lopez. Another good buddy of mine, Lee Austin, who does buying and selling businesses is here too. I'm going to have Dallas and Vivian talk to him about people who are looking to change jobs. They don't want to work for the man anymore. They want to buy a business. What do you do in that situation? I'm excited about this. I'm excited for you to get to know Dallas and Vivian much better today. Let's see their interview skills. How about that? Can Dallas and Vivian do an interview as you have real estate continues. Lee Austin, how are you, my friend? It's great, great. to see you in great. the new year. It's good to see you as well. Thanks for coming in. You know, it's a great time of the year. Once you start every new year, it's great to talk about business opportunities. Definitely. Of course, being in the mortgage side of the business, you know, everybody's contacting me regularly and saying, hey, Dallas, what are the rates right now? <laughs> What's the, what does it look like for a forecast for 2024? Can you tell me what the rate's going to be? Are there more rate cuts? Are there more rate hikes? Everybody is ringing the phone wanting to know about that. The one thing I like about today is, and speaking mm -hmm. with you, is an opportunity that we rarely get on my side, okay. is to talk to people that actually, like yourself, buy and sell businesses and do that for clients. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Well, thanks for having me on. Basically, a lot of people, when they're looking for businesses, they're looking for opportunities where they can make money, they can make a living, they can do income replacement for what they're currently doing. That's what a lot of people are after. Uh, for the rate issue that you have, you could actually have an, an away message on your answering machine. Just say, hey, if you want other rates, here they are. But for businesses, everything is very custom. So every business, I have to take a different approach. Even if I have two businesses in the same industry, one owner might run it one way and another owner might run it another way. So they might have more employees on one end, they might have a different location. So it's all about what people want, what makes them comfortable, and a lot of it comes down to what people are hoping to earn when they buy a business. This is fascinating to me and it's an area that I'd really love to learn about. Oh. And I do have a client I wanna to speak to you about. I mean, okay. I think we have a great opportunity. Okay. And that leads me into a question about, is there any particular business that you would not do? For example, would you stay away from buying or selling a particular business? And or are there businesses that you sort of do on a regular basis that are sort of almost a regular position for you to do? Well, you know, we are in Florida, so there's a lot of service-based businesses, and we see a lot of that. Uh, there's also a lot of restaurants. Restaurants on our market is probably about 40%. When you look at all the businesses that sell in the state of Florida, restaurants are about 40% restaurants and bars. We do a lot of service-based businesses. Uh, right now, I have a digital marketing company that's pending. I have, uh, I think, another one that's like I can talk about. It's like an urgent care clinic. So they do urgent care and primary care. And then there's also landscaping companies, which might sound like the person outside your yard mowing the lawn, but some of these are very, very large. 
Some of these are grossing 12 million a year. Very nice. Some of them are netting over two or three million a year. Outstanding. And it's a lot more than just the neighborhood kid with a lawnmower. Some sure. of them are very big industries. They're doing very large apartment complexes, neighborhood associations. And then when there's a lot of manufacturing companies as well, like metalwork companies. And uh, even today I disclosed someone on a, it was like a concrete coating company. And uh, yesterday actually I sold a, a tutoring business. Wow. And there are 50 tutors. Wow. That's a lot though, that's right? That's fascinating. Because I was like, that's 50 different personalities. Exactly. And they pretty much, it was private tutoring, so they have about maybe 150, 200 kids that come in on a weekly basis for tutoring. That's, that's, that's so, what, so you really, there's just about everything. You can do just about any type of business, which is great to hear. There's very different businesses out there. Most businesses people aren't even aware of. So you are not a specialty niche business. You're an equal opportunity type business, just about. My partner, Jackie, says that we're generalists. Mm -hmm. uh, we specialize in a lot of different businesses. And they can be, you know, on the small end for, you know, four or 500,000. But I've also sold a lot larger businesses. I worked on businesses that are 17 million. Wow. That good, good uh, job. you know net like four million a year, so that Absolutely. that happens as well. Very very good. One of the questions I always get asked on the commercial lending side is, Dallas, we want to know how high do you go on the loan amount? In other words, the first thing they how want to know. How high do you go? Oh, yeah, exactly. How high do you go? What's the uh, largest sale price you'll do? And what's the largest loan amount that you will approve? In other words, I'm curious about that as well. <laughs> exactly exactly. Will you go as high as fifty two million? Will you go as high as a hundred million? Okay. They always want to know. And the answer is, I can go as high as the job and the loan dictates. Okay, that makes so sense. So I can do it. So now, yeah. obviously, when a client comes to you, yeah. the first thing they might say is, Lee, I don't know if you know I can get this particular number I have in mind for selling my business. Okay. Is there a ceiling or is there a limit for what you'll do? There might be a limit for what I'll do if I think it's just completely out of possibility. But uh, for a lot of businesses where there is financing involved, there are some schematics where it makes sense. And once you go past those schematics, if a lender won't loan on something like that, it gets to a point where like, I don't think I'll be able to do it. I mean, that does happen. There are some businesses like in the 5% that go beyond that where mm -hmm. you might be able to get that amount of money even though a bank doesn't finance it. I don't know if you know, but you know, if you do like an SBA loan, most SBA you know, programs, they'll finance you to about five million. Mm -hmm. And then beyond that, you have to kind of figure something else out. And there's other ways to get around that and do more. But for most people, it's your limit's about five. You can buy as many businesses as long as you don't go past that amount. But like I said, there's other programs where you can go beyond that. And that's like what people do. And then once you go beyond that level, there's other means for financing. Outstanding, outstanding. Now, do you have, I would say, do you have a clientele that, for example, they come to you once, Mm -hmm. and they have a very successful uh, dealing with you. Do you have repeat customers? We do have some repeat customers, but it's not like where you can buy real estate and just have someone manage it. A lot of businesses that we sell do require someone to actually run the business. So either the person buying it runs the business or they're hiring someone else to run the business. So a lot of buyers have limits to what they can do, but there are people who are repeat buyers and sellers. They'll buy a business, run it for three or four years, sell for more money, and they'll buy another one, sell that for more money. Uh, we have one customer, he owns 10 businesses. Mm. Uh, we sold him, I think, nine of those. Outstanding. And the 10th one he developed on his own, but there and are people that can do a bunch of different things. And I'm sure you like to, from time to time, help if you can get into the equation too, to help the business. Well, what I wanna say is, Lee, yeah. Happy New Year. You okay. have enlightened me, you have helped me. And I can certainly say I look forward to doing business with you in this new year of 2020. Yeah, absolutely, if we can. Yeah, definitely. You were complaining about your electricity bill, and I don't blame you. But the reason why your electricity bill is so high may be something you didn't know. Your windows, joined by my good buddy, and the, the man over at Renewal by Anderson, Dan Brigman. Dan, it's just a fact. Uh, bad windows, old windows are killing people's electricity bill. Why is that? 100%. There's several main reasons, Justin. Uh, one is the technology. If you got old windows, they don't have up-to-date Energy Star technology. Number two, if you've got old windows, there's a lot of places windows can leak. Most folks didn't know that when the AC turns on, a suction is created in the house. Well, guess what? You're sucking in hot 
warm air through the broken seals of the windows and that and on top of that we've got sun hitting and uh, of course radiant heat leaving the house special deal for you actually if you take out your phone hit the qr code on the screen right now i will connect you directly with dan who will offer you a 12 month no no and also a 24 month no no but the biggest is our 20 percent off offer that we have not had in quite some time. I didn't think we were going to have it before the end of the year. So. Dan Brigham, an excellent job as always. Here's how it works. Look, if you do the program where you pay for the windows over time, you're going to save money on your electricity bill where it's all going to balance out. Windows for free, essentially. Do yourself a favor and visit Renewal by Anderson today. So I am not Justin Clark, but I am pinch hitting for him. And I've got Matt Buckley with LPT Realty and Alicia Lopez with Ocala Realty World. We're excited to have you here. It's 2024 and I just wanna know what you think we should expect for 2024 as far as real estate's concerned. What about you, Matt? 2024, I uh, anticipate a huge year. Uh, we saw in December it slowed down a little bit uh, due mm -hmm. to the holidays, due to the interest rates, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, but I think the resolutioners are excited to either buy, sell, or invest this year. Uh, we're seeing the Fed make significant better improvements to the interest rates. Uh, Hometown Heroes is getting used. Hopefully that's sure. getting replenished. Uh, but I see big, big wins. I see big uh, gains. And I see a very, very busy 2024. Are you seeing buyers come out of the woodwork now? Oh, yes. They're yeah. coming back. Yeah. yeah. Well, good. Good, good, good. Is that because you think it's the rates? or? I think it's due to the rates. But I also think, uh, you know, NAR announced... Uh, last year, it was about 120 days from a, a, a yeah. lead inception to a closing. So mm -hmm. uh, we can't just think when we meet somebody, they're going to buy that day or that week. I typically think, you know, the lifespan is four or five months from the inception. And we're starting to see the end of that timeline benefit Absolutely. in our favor. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, I definitely believe 2024 is going to be an amazing year. And all the fence sitters, everybody that was waiting on the sidelines, just hoping and praying that rates were going to drop. The yeah. decrease that we are already seeing is increasing the buyer's interest on top of buyers that we're already planning to buy in 2024. So it's been have really you, Have you seen even, you know, we're getting more inventory, but have you seen the sellers be more flexible with pricing? Or do you think they're at this point saying, you know what, hey, I, I have an opportunity. The buyers are coming out. I think it just depends on the listing agent. So if the listing agent educates the seller correctly on right. pricing, we're going to get a listing that's priced right. But unfortunately, there's a, agents out there that they just take a listing for the sake of taking it and they don't learn the market or understand the market to educate the seller. And then we get overpriced listings. Yeah. To follow that question, that's basically, would you recommend a large company that's a national firm to come in and start listing in your area? It, obviously, it's the company, but it's also the specific agent because a company can be great. But if that agent hasn't taken the time to educate themselves or a local expert has experience in the area, that'll do a disservice to both sides of the deal. Right. So do you believe an agent should be a local expert? I do. I mean, you got a lot of people, we talked about it kind of before the show, yeah. people coming from down south, from the Tampa aspect, and they're coming, you know, here to central Florida. Uh, different markets, different rules, different, you know, relationships. Uh, no matter where you are, whether it's here in Florida or across the country, I always recommend a right. local expert. Absolutely. I agree. So you have a couple of listings yes. that you are going to promote. So we're going to start in Orlando. I think this one's 3624 Chelsea. Yes, 3624 Chelsea. It is a three-bedroom, two-bathroom, mm -hmm. uh, 510000 We priced a little bit on the higher side just because recently in the neighborhood we're seeing a lot of people buy properties, demolish them, and then they're building one $2 million estates. So it's like older neighborhood. Yeah, it's an older neighborhood here in Orlando. Yeah. Great zip code. Uh, but we are seeing a lot of people demolish, build new. Uh, so we're hoping we get one of those investors with some bigger pockets to come up to the 510 right. mark and get it sold. Right. And that's that's tart, that that's a tough thing to estimate, too, as far as, you know, getting a price. Because mm -hmm. you've got such a big difference. You might have a 500000 with the same square footage yeah. and a million-dollar home with the but the difference is it's, how new uh, it is. It's crazy when you really break yeah. down the comps, just the differences of what property uh, dictates what value. Absolutely. And we've got two more, well, one in New Smyrna Beach, 296 yeah. Mileto. Yep, yeah. 2916 Mileto Boulevard. 
Uh, it's in the highly desired Venetian Bay. Right. Uh, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, a half bath, two car garage. It is waterfront. Uh, and if you know about Venetian Bay, you got the golf courses, pickleball, tennis courts, gonna say, the it's bistro, got the so pool. Much to the offer. lifestyle is. Uh, and quite how unique. far is that from the ocean? Uh, to the ocean, you're about 13, 15 minutes. Hardly so you get the benefit of coastal too. life without paying the the insurance and the taxes and the of price. being on the coast. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. And that one was 395000 right? 395000 yeah. Awesome. That's pretty good. Yes. So this one is a unique property, 1520 South Flagler. Yes, 1520 South Flagler over in Flagler Beach. Um, we got a new Margaritaville coming that way as well, so I see values coming up. Four bedrooms, four bathrooms. The main uh, property is a 3-3 three, three with a 1-1 one, one efficiency, mm -hmm. so income producing. That's always a benefit. Uh, we are waterfront. Uh, and it's listed at 419000 And next door, there's a teardown for 399000 So wow. if they want to hear That's more, pretty good. Uh, give yeah. it to you guys. So when you say waterfront, is it canal front? Is it ocean Intercoastal. Front? Oh, okay. Yeah, intercoastal. Great. It, and those intercoastal properties, are is it an easy access to the ocean or...? Uh, there is, you know, we got plans to do a seawall and or a dock, so mm -hmm. you can, you, know, you got to get through kind of the marsh and the intercoastal to get to the bigger body of water. Uh, but, right. you know, it's definitely doable. Well, good. Yeah. Good, good, good. Well, thank you. Welcome to our house. So literally, this is our home. We yes. love it. <laughs> we just bought it recently, and you'll never guess what happened as soon as we bought it. The worst thing the possible. The worst thing ever. I'll show you. <laughs> dead. Absolutely dead as a doornail. No AC whatsoever. We live in Florida. This is a problem. It's a major problem. However, remember we had Old Ash on the show recently. Absolutely. And what did they tell us? That they could help. That they could help. And they said the only place to turn is Duquesne. And that's exactly what we've done. Thank goodness. Yeah. Old Ash told us Duquesne is the way to go Absolutely. when it comes to air conditioning systems now. And, and obviously it is. The price point, unbelievable. The 10-year warranty, unbelievable. And our electricity bill, it, yes. it's been driving me crazy lately, is going to go down substantially. I'm super excited about that. Can't and we get a tax credit as well for this year because we bought the unit this year. I love it. Got to go Duquesne. Absolutely. We're going to take you to the install now. So we are here outside getting our Duquesne Lynx heat pump system installed. I'm super excited. I mean, I think this is going to be a game changer for us. It, uh, well, absolutely. Yeah, it's going to save us money. There's a 10-year warranty on it. I mean, it's it's a no-brainer. So we're good for 10 years, no matter what. Absolutely. I love it. Yeah, parts, the whole the whole shebang. I love it. So I can't wait. I mean, I know I've been missing the AC in the house. I know. Humidity. I've heard a lot about that. Yeah, my hair has just been. So this... Your mood. Thank you. Absolutely. Sorry, I'm just well, being Well, it's honest. all going to be fixed tonight. Okay. Thanks for our new system. Do I ever have a very special gift for you today? Compliments our good friends over at Universal Roof and Contracting. 15% off your roofing job. The roof is the most important part of your house. No doubt about it. Uh, welcome my good friends as always, Justin and Corey. Hi, how are you today? Good, man, good. good. Thank the you. Roof is the most important part of the house, but sometimes deciding who your roofing company is going to be is the most important decision as well. Culture is everything. Sure. When determining who's gonna do your roofing job, Universal, the culture over there blows me away. Trustworthy, tell me about the culture at Universal. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 30 years in the making, right? Family owned, veteran owned, same name and ownership over the past three decades. We're so proud to be so rooted in Orlando and we have we have offices in Jacksonville and Southwest Florida, but the honest approach, the integrity we carry, working transparently with insurance companies and homeowners alike, I mean, we approach roofing the way an honest company really should. Trusted by some of the biggest sports teams in Florida as well. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We uh, this past season, we were the uh, one of the partners with the Jacksonville Jaguars, which was awesome. Um, they had a great season this, this year, too. And then uh, just coming next month, the XFL, the Orlando Guardians. Uh, we are the official roofer for the Orlando Guardians. So we're excited to go out to those games and see everybody there. So yeah. it'd be great. A roof can be expensive. You created great programs to make this roof not cost prohibitive for me. Yeah. I mean, last thing we're going to do is take food off people's plates to afford a roof. So we have a ton of flexible financing plans that just keeps things very very uh, liquid for homeowners, even if they don't want to use their own money, even if they have it at the yeah. time, you know, so we offer that as well for every roof replacement. I have this QR code on the screen right now. Get your phone out or go to their website, but the QR code will go directly to Justin and Corey. And literally you get 15% off, but guys, you're gonna come to my house and tell me what I really need, honestly. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah, free inspection, first of all. It does cost nothing for us to come out. We're gonna sit down with you hear what you like about your roof, what you don't like about your roof, what problems you've had, and come up with a custom scope of work that makes sense for oh, you. Always so. a pleasure to see you both. There's only one 
company we trust when it comes to roofing. That is Universal Roof and Contracting. Well, I want to talk about how great Florida is and what better way than to have you guys help me explain it. So I understand that DeSantis has spent a large amount of money on Florida as far as the infrastructure is concerned. And that's always a huge thing because that's what we want to build on. And I know you mentioned Margarita in Margaritaville in the last segment. So tell me why you think people are attracted to communities like that. We've always seen people coming to Florida for the big reasons, the weather, the taxes, mm -hmm. the write-offs, whatever the case may be. Uh, but I think we're seeing a, a shift in why people are coming here. Uh, hence, I think a thousand people a day are coming here. That's the biggest migration of people since the gold rush. Uh, but there are places uh, like Margaritaville. There are places like Evermore here in central Florida. Um, there are, you know, we got the West Coast. We got Gulf up north. We got down south. Uh, Jeff Bezos has moved his Live, his residence to Miami. Right. Uh, we have Messi from International coming to Miami. So, so it's not, not only, just Jeff Bezos moving here, it's him and all his companies. Yeah, so he, that's huge. That he's claiming residence yeah. here. And it, it yeah. makes you think people aren't just coming here from other states now. Uh, we got people from other countries coming to Florida. And yeah. That's when yeah. we're going to see, I believe, uh, values skyrocket due so to heavy demand. I understand Evermore is going to be this planned community near Disney that is going to have this huge lagoon. Have you guys heard anything else about that? Or, you know, again, it's that community feel that people are looking for. Well, I think like what you said about everyone wants to live in the sunshine. Mm -hmm. And when they think Florida, they think vacation. So it's the resort sure. style living. Yeah. And it also after COVID, you know, everybody was at home and then we started to realize like what amenities that we outside. like and how we want to spoil ourselves and we don't have to necessarily go out for those things. We could do all that at home. So to have it all inclusive sure. is becoming really important to a lot of buyers. To, to jump on that, that Evermore uh, Lagoon, mm -hmm. to, to go into detail, it was 17 million gallons. And wow. Put that into comparison. Uh, SeaWorld, I believe, is 25 million, being the second largest uh, boundary of water. And at Evermore, Crazy. they want to make it uh, a larger surface area and less depth. Mm -hmm. This way people can enjoy uh, the paddle boards, uh, the kayaks, the swimming. And no sharks. And no sharks or alligators. <laughs> uh, but because right. the values not only on the coast are climbing like crazy, uh, but the people in central Florida also want to enjoy uh, the, the Florida lifestyle. Absolutely. And these that are that being said, I actually get calls from people that say, I want to be close to a pickleball facility. <laughs> Yeah. Well, what is that about? I mean, you in Dallas are, you know, piqued my interest in yeah. the whole pickleball <laughs> thing. I'm feeling like I have to be playing pickleball. Yeah. You have to. Sure. You yes. have to. <laughs> but we uh, actually, now we had clients actually calling us trying to find land or facilities yes. to either use that as an investment or use for their personal. And you even mentioned uh, you got something in Oxford that offers yeah. pickleball. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, yeah, parcel for that for sure. Wow. Mm -hmm. I think it's just Perfect. a spark in the whole industry. So you, you guys need to talk, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got the buyer, she got the seller. We're yes. good. Yes, <laughs> yes. Well, good. So what else do you think um, attracts people to Florida other than our great weather and the great taxes and DeSantis' infrastructure? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, so I'm from Miami. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Miami and in Ocala for almost 19 years. And, you know, to live in Miami, you know that you're going to pay a high ticket price. Like, it's a given. Yeah. You're not going to worry about those things. But then you have the homeowners there that have lived there for a long time where it's becoming unaffordable. So we're seeing that typical migration up north where, mm -hmm. you know, they come to central Florida, but now they're coming to Ocala because they get more bang for their buck. Yeah. It's almost, it's still almost 40% less to live in Marion County than it is to live in Orange County. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think the cost of living as a whole, we're seeing more people migrate to Florida due to the cost of living. But I also think COVID was a spoiler. Mm -hmm. Everybody was working from home. And you had a lot of people come to vacation here or spend time here, move here. And we're seeing that continue. People aren't exactly going back to work in the industry. We're still seeing people staying home. Staying we're still seeing home. them not want to go back to their home. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, like we said, there's still between 800 and 1,200 people moving to Florida every day. So. Yeah. so the last question, again, that buyer moving to Florida, what would you suggest, especially first-time home buyers, because we get this question all yeah. the time, what do I need to do to prepare myself to buy something? 
You want to go ahead, Alicia? Can't pre-qualify. Okay. <laughs> can't pre-qualify. <laughs> it's like so repetitive, but it's so true yes. because our job as a realtor is to make sure that the buyer is excited through the whole process and doesn't end up disappointed. So if we start them off on the right foot and make sure they get qualified and mm-hmm. that way they're, they know their budget and they know what we're looking at, that they don't see something in another neighborhood that's two, three hundred more, thousand sure. more than what their budget is, then they're out the gate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, I think it's so crucial, too, because we are seeing a downward trend with the interest rates. Mm-hmm. Uh, you might be able to afford a little bit more. Your, sure. your monthly payment may be lower now. So not only get pre-approved, speak with a lender, uh, but you know, explore the options. Talk with professionals. There, there's grants. There's hometown heroes. Uh, there's different things for doctors. And Absolutely. there's a wage right now as sellers lengthen days on market, as sellers price reduce because they're thinking their home is worth what it is, now's the time, I think, to negotiate a deal, mm-hmm. get some closing costs covered, get repairs done, mm-hmm. because if, if interest rates are in a downward trend and I can negotiate, I see it almost as a yeah. win-win. Yeah, and there's a lot of creative ways, like you said. It could be seller financing, it could be even, and, and the loan products yes. out there that yeah. are out there. You've got a lot of 80, you know, 20 deals, which is kind mm-hmm. of scary because that's what kind of put us in that problem. But yeah. I, I think, think it's doable. Yeah. <laughs> These lenders have to, they have to stem the economy. You know, our, our yes. governors, our, the Fed has mm-hmm. to stem the economy. And they're doing things to do that with the grants and the products and stuff like that. And I think it's the information needs to transfer to the consumer. And that's, mm-hmm. you know... Our job as brokers That's and realtors and brokers to Absolutely. inform and educate these people. Well, thank you very much for both being here, Absolutely. and we look forward to talking again next week. Thank you. <laughs> Dallas and Vivian, excellent job. I think you've answered the question we all had, or the question I certainly had prior to the show. You can do an interview. Great job. And you know our production team here are the absolute best. Uh, Lee, you did a great job today. Alicia Lopez killed it. As always, we are excited. We're on the new set right now. Next week, the entire show will be done from this set. We can't wait. We're going to have a blast. We're going to have a great 2024 with you. I always want to urge you, if you ever have any questions, maybe you don't want to talk to me during the show. I get that. You can reach out to me directly anytime. Literally, we do this show for one reason, one reason alone, and that is to keep you up to date on this real estate market. You get pulled in so many different directions. You get told by this agent that. You get told by your your dad this. Your uncle says this. We're here to give you advice on what is really going on right now in this market. That's why we are here. Thank you so much, as always, for joining us. See you again next week from this new set on You Have Real Estate. The proceeding was a paid advertisement. The views expressed were the sole responsibility of the advertiser.